What's good everyone? So today I'm going to be talking about when exactly you should be monetizing your personal brand on online. In this video, I'm going to prove to you why that's wrong and what you should be doing instead. So before we get into it, there's a link down below where I can basically see where you are with your personal branding journey, where you want to get to, and what's really stopping you from reaching that personal brand of your dreams. Maybe it's to get 10k followers on Instagram. Who knows? Book, the, book a call down below, see if we're a good fit, and I look forward to speaking with you. Anyway, follow me on Instagram as well, at the Matt Jacob, if you want to speak to me there. So, let's answer this age-old question once and for all. When should you monetize your personal brand? I think you should monetize it when you get to 10k followers. Okay, and here's why. I'm just kidding. You don't have to wait till you get to 10k followers until you monetize your page, because... Here's the truth, right? You can have 10,000 followers and you, 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 launch, you launch like a program or a course. None of them could buy. That could very well be the case and it's very possible. Make sure that those 10K followers are actually loyal and you've been building them up the right way. Then think about monetizing. Here's my answer to the whole question once and for all. You can monetize at any point in your journey. You can even monetize when you're under a thousand followers you can monetize when you're at 5,000. All depends on when, how soon you actually want to get paid, okay? Well, how soon you want to get paid? I've seen, I'll give you examples, right? Just to really drill this home. Of course, there are pages with 100,000 followers, a ton of, a ton of clout, a ton of revenue. Um, and then there's other pages like mine, when I was building my theme page, right? I was building my theme page, started from scratch. My goal of it was to grow and monetize it. Um, and then I got to about, I think it was about five to six K followers was when I started seeing money coming through. That was when I first made money through Instagram. Okay. Five to 6,000 followers. And Hey, that's just how the journey unfolded. Okay. Uh, I could have done it earlier. Looking back at it now, I could have done things way earlier, uh, knowing what I know now with my personal brand, with the page, the page that you're going to message me on. Okay. I set the intention right from the beginning that I'm going to monetize it. I set the intention right from the beginning that I have something to sell and I do not shy away from it. Why don't I shy away from it? Well, that's because if I shy away from it, people like me who are also shying away from buying or selling something, I'm going to attract them because the like attracts like. So if you're going to attract people like that, have fun trying to monetize your course, have fun trying to build your agency. Um, when you wait to get to a certain amount of followers, then selling instead of selling right from the start, just because you're scared of what people would think if you came at them with your offer uh, when you don't have many followers. Okay, I know that's a big fear for a lot of people and I get it because I was there before. I thought I had to wait. Um, but the truth is no one's gonna give you the permission. You have to give yourself the permission as to when you wanna start really getting money in the bank. Now, to bring it back down to earth here, I set the intention to monetize my profile right from the start. So even when I ran an agency that completely flopped, I still made it clear that I had an agency and that was looking for clients, okay? Uh, when I started the coaching business, this one, I, I think I started it at around, I think I was at around 300 to 400 followers, if that. So really not very many, but guess what? Around 60 days in, signed my first client and I was at about 400 to 500 followers. Okay. So still not a lot, but I did, I played my cards right and I made bank. So the moral of the story is don't wait. You need to, it's less about how many followers you've got. It's more about how are you trying to get these followers to know, like, and trust you, and then eventually invest in your offer. What you have that goes for service-based businesses and that goes for product-based businesses. I'll give you an example of a product-based business completely flopping, okay? You probably heard this as well, it went quite viral. There was this influencer, she had about 2.6 million followers on Instagram and she had a clothing brand. And when she launched her clothing brand, the manufacturer said, look, all you have to do is sell 36 t-shirts and we can keep we can keep this uh we can keep carrying on okay because i think they 
it's something to do with the cost in the back end like if you sold 36 t-shirts uh, that, that's like a good sign they can carry on and they pay off the costs etc so all she had to do was sell 36 t-shirts at 2.6 million followers do you think she'd be able to do that just fine most of you would say yes 100 percent. it's doable the complete opposite happened okay she couldn't even sell 36 t-shirts for her 2.6 million follower instagram page as an influencer let me say that again she couldn't sell 36 t-shirts with 2.6 million followers okay and the scary part is this is more common than you think it's happening to influencers all around the planet tons of followers they get all these followers thinking that one day when it's time to sell something they're gonna make bank from it and that's what i thought you know i don't blame her at the end of the day you know we make mistakes we people were attacking her on twitter and attacking the whole influencer bubble uh, saying how it's just it's about to burst and it's not going to work uh, a couple of years from now and i i partly disagree i think influencers are here to stay but if you do it like her then you're obviously going to do it wrong you're not going to sell anything so let me know in the comments if you want me to do a complete case study on why her uh t-shirt brand failed okay so let me know anyway let's get back on topic so when should you monetize your personal brand it's up to you friends of mine for example he has about 900 followers but he's pulling in about 24k a month from last time we spoke yeah around 24k a month with 900 followers and the way he's doing that well first of all he's a he helps coaches and consultants uh scale their online business and the way he does it is he posts youtube videos and he's also on facebook as well but we'll talk about the youtube videos so he posts youtube videos three times a week and then he makes a call to action like kind of i did like kind of how i did in the beginning uh go follow him on instagram go send him a dm on instagram saying that you came from the video and send me a dm as well if you came from one of my videos that would be super appreciated anyway 900 followers doing around 24k a month again under a thousand goes to show you can do it whenever you want you are in control of your destiny i know another guy he's and this one's special because he is he's kind of doing the same thing as me kind of helping with instagram growth with growing profitable audiences for people around 14k followers on instagram and he's pulling in about 30k to 40k a month so again he doesn't have a hundred thousand he's got a bit more than the average person again it's different for everyone and the, the reason why i'm giving these examples is because i want to drill it home to you that you don't have to wait any longer to start making money through your personal brand now again i hope this was helpful i hope you take this home and you actually take, take action on it okay by tomorrow i want to see you post something and maybe promote a product maybe promote your service because if we, at the end of the day no one's gonna care maybe a few people will care but give it seven weeks i don't know why i said seven weeks i meant seven days they'll probably forget about it maybe your friends will make fun of you for like a couple of days and then what well, they'll forget about it maybe something comes up uh in their own life and then they won't be talking about you anymore so my point is monetize whenever you want to you're in control of it don't wait until you get to a certain follower count or engagement count even uh or a subscriber count if you're on youtube and i'll also make a video on how different ways to monetize your personal brand so stay tuned for that i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it answered your question again if you're serious if you've tried different ways to monetize but just haven't gotten the results you want and you still want to keep at it book a call down below it's going to be in the description in the first comment and uh, let's have a chat Follow me on Instagram at the Matt Jacob. And yeah, even if you don't do anything, even if you click off doing nothing with the video, I hope this was still valuable and you still walked away with a lot of clarity on what to do next with your brand. Anyway, I hope to see you soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you.